If you look at Perthshire as a whole, it has over 250,000 acres of vast woodland. It's known throughout the UK and Scotland as big tree country, and that's where we're going now. The whole of Perthshire makes up more than 200,000 acres of open woodlands for you to enjoy, and it includes more champion trees than anywhere else in the UK. There's no wonder why they call it the big tree country. This place is huge. The final stop I've come to before we continue our journey north is Canoole Hill Woodlands Park, which sits right at the heart of this very city. It literally hugs the place with its rich natural fur. So to reach the park, just head over the Queen's Bridge, hike up a mildly challenging road, and you'll eventually reach the official signpost for Canoole Hill Woodland Park. As you begin hiking up the small grassy paths, just take a stop, look behind, and you'll see the River Tay rushing off into the distance. The Woodland Park forms a tranquil haven for people and wildlife with miles of grassy paths and waymarked nature trails through fine mixed woodlands. Following the nature trails, you'll notice the occasional keep fit jogger, various walkers who visit here regularly, and the local orienteers group who hold events to test their skills. But despite all of these uses, this woodland park is usually quite a quiet place for you to come and enjoy the countryside at your own pace. While you enjoy the fresh, open Scottish air, and the wild lifestyle, take the time to notice the beautiful surrounding scenery, the foothills of the Grampian Mountains and the various sculptures found scattered along the trail such as animal sculptures like this eagle. And if you're lucky, you might also spot the occasional red deer. But unfortunately, we've yet to spot a red deer. The hill itself is some 222 meters high and the top of the hill is dominated by a folly of a ruined castle which was built in the 19th century as a reflection of the castles on the Rhine. It stands on the rocky cliffs high above the River Tay and looks out to roads that lead north, deep into the highlands. So this window right here looks out over the River Tay and the surrounding hills on the horizon. We're 222 metres high up in the hills the cliff is right here you can actually see the traffic on the road below these ancient ruins have withstood the test of time for hundreds of years and it really is an incredible legacy that has been left behind i recommend it if you're visiting perth come up to canoel hill right to the summit and enjoy this spectacular piece of architecture that's been left behind for generations